Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. For this review, we're going to take a look at the Mesco 112 Collective BVS Superman action figure. So let's start with the packaging. And this is how it came. It's got a nice little outer sleeve here to protect the um, clear cover on the packaging. So I'll just slip this off. And on the inside of that, you'll see this nice glossy clear um, cover. And this one's got the uh, BVS logo printed on the front. And spinning around to the back, it's got um, Superman, accessories, and optional heads. So this is actually printed on the plastic sleeve. And on the actual packaging, it's got nice um, concrete-like texture printed on the front. On the side, BVS logo. On the back, close-up of Superman. And on the side, BVS logo again. And it does feature a flip open lid, so you can see the figure inside. Another plastic sheet to protect the window. So let's crack this guy open and have a look at the figure inside. And here is the inside plastic tray. And on the back of this tray, there is another tray that has all the, um, this is the stand with the cape uh, posing wires and also a Ziploc bag to keep accessories in if you don't want to keep the packaging. So here you can see the Gotham City sewer cover, his two optional heads, as well as three pairs of optional hands. And on the back of the figure there is the display base. And here he is out of the packaging with all of his accessories. So I'll just go through this one by one. So he comes with a pair of karate chopping hands. pair of uh, gripping hands for holding the manhole cover and a pair of the open grasping hands and he also comes with a, a much more stern looking face and also his heat vision face and of course the manhole cover which is very nicely detailed um, it's got this nice silver dry brushing over the top of like a copper color so it looks very nicely weathered and you can actually pull this apart to replicate him kind of ripping this in two so that's really nice and it kind of fits into each other and it stays in place quite nicely if you want to display it as a whole piece and it doesn't fall out or anything so that's good and then here is his display base with the BVS logo printed in red very nicely done there and you've got the foot peg or alternatively you can take this out and put the display arm on and I'll uh, I'll go over the display stuff in a minute and he's also got this ziplock bag so you can put all of the accessories in if you don't want to keep the box like I mentioned earlier and with the cape management system he gets this base piece which clicks onto the display arm and each of these wire arms plugs into this management system base and he gets three short um, wires in varying lengths actually he gets one short one two medium sized ones and two long ones and just zooming in to give you guys a better look at the accessories here is the manhole cover so it's got Gotham City 1635 designed in there and it looks really really nice even the back of it is textured and now for a look at his optional heads so I'll just take this one off that comes on the figure and here is his slightly more serious looking face and popping these heads on and off is relatively easy and they fit on the figure quite nicely and here is his heat vision head and just to look at the swapping of the hands pops off pretty easily and let's put his karate chop hands on and pops on pretty easily as well and put his grasping hands on or holding hands on so you can hold the manhole cover so it grips pretty well and here is a look at the 
display base with the cape management system wire all connected up. So the display base is quite nice and this arm plugs into the display base and all of these things you can pretty much plug them however you like there's more than enough holes to do different configurations and then you basically just set Superman up here on the stand and it grips pretty well it's it's quite tight so he's not going to drop out too easily and then you kind of just hook hook the um, cape in not sure if I can do a very good job on camera but this will give you an idea of what you can do with the with the wires and um, I have mentioned before in my previous video of uh, Batman that I'm not really a huge fan of this kind of system because it's really hard to get him into any nice natural kind of flight poses with this with this system I just I prefer it if the actual cape was wired but you know you get the idea of how it works but you have to kind of really fine-tune it to get him looking good you know this is pretty disastrous but you get the idea and here's a closer look at the figure let's start with the head so there have been a lot of people complaining that the head isn't as good as it can be and while I somewhat agree I still think the sculpting is quite nice it um, represents the actor quite closely um, the only thing is obviously the paint job isn't quite as realistic it's a little bit more average or bland looking say for example when compared to the Punisher figure which is an absolute gem you can see the Punisher figure the uh, paint and the sculpting is much more realistic whereas the Superman figure it's kind of just white and not much texture or detail happening in there so I can understand the complaint but I think the sculpt itself is actually not too bad and the hair is nicely sculpted you can see all the strands of hair on his head so that's good and then coming down to the suit and I think this is where this figure really shines the suit is um, it's kind of nice it's got this reflective property to it if I just spin the figure around you can see the reflection coming off it and the logo is really nicely done it's um, molded plastic and painted very nicely and it's got some really really lovely textures on it and the suit even has some ribbing painted or printed or stuck on I'm not sure how they've done this but it does look really good so you can see the ribbing along the body of the, the figure and also on the cuffs of his arms so that's really nicely done everything's really tidy you can see the back as well the seam is really nicely stitched doesn't look like anything is coming apart or any loose threads so that's really nice and then coming down to his boots very nicely sculpted detail on the boots um, but there is something a little bit strange happening first off I think his feet is a little bit large it's quite long isn't it it, it probably should have ended maybe there but it keeps going for another good three or four millimeters anyway um, aside from that the foot has some dirt on it but the ankles and the calf is completely clean well not completely there's a little bit of kind of dirt applied on um, to the weathering but there's a massive difference between the shoe here or the feet here and the shin here so I'm not sure what happened there but it's a very minor nit nitpick I mean it's all the way down here you don't really see it um, and then moving on to the cape it's a very lovely material nice and soft and the um, the actual texture is not too big either for the scale so I think it works really well but you know because it doesn't have the wires um, stitched into the cape it kind of just flops there and I really hate using that cape management system that um, Nesco has designed and in terms of articulation he can tilt his head up that far down that far he's got side to side tilting which is good and rotation all the way around so he does have a separate neck piece that can move as well as a ball peg on his head and for the shoulders he can lift up his arm that much 
and down that far. You can obviously go all the way around if it weren't for the fabric um, hindering the movement and I don't want to stretch it too far but he can pretty much go all the way forward and all the way back so that's good. He does have bicep swivels, uh, no butterfly joint and I think he does have a double um, jointed elbow so that gives him a good more than 90 degree bend. He's got a uh, ball peg for the wrist so spin and also in and out a little bit so that's good and for his body he's got he's got a diaphragm joint so he can rotate there bit of side to side tilting but again I don't want to stretch the fabric too much and then he can crunch forward that far and back that far so it's not too bad and no waist rotation and for his legs he can stretch or split that far which is quite impressive actually and then he can kick forward that far and back not quite as far as forward he's got uh, thigh rotation but it is a bit tight and double jointed knees which gives him a pretty nice bend at the knees and he can rotate at the top of the boots and for his feet he can tilt them down that far up to about there and he's got ankle rockers from side to side and in terms of height he comes in at about 16.5 centimeters which is about 6.49 inches and now for some size comparisons, here he is with DC Collectibles Premium Format Superman. Here he is with DC Icons Superman. Mesco 112 Collective Armored Batman. 112 Collective BVS Batman. SH Figure Arts Son Goku. And finally Marvel Legends Cyclops. Overall, I like this figure. Um, there are a few little problems with him, such as the very pale skin tone and the less than realistic paint application of the face and also his relatively large feet when you compare it to for example the DC collectible um, premium format Superman which actually stands taller than the Mesco version but it has smaller feet so I think the proportions are a little bit off with his feet um, the body is actually really nice articulation is really good so overall it's uh, it's a decent decent toy but there can be a few adjustments or improvements made and just in case you're wondering if you could swap the heads between the premium format and the Mesco 112 um, as you can see the ball pegs are very much different in size so let's put the Mesco one on the premium format it kind of sits nicely on the figure but obviously it isn't pegged in properly so it does work this way so it's loose but if you wanted to put the premium format on the BVS or on the uh, 112 collective it's going to sit quite a lot higher. And that pretty much sums up my review of the Mesco 112 Collective Superman. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time for another toy review.